Hi, my name is Stephanie Waiters, product specialist for Essations Incorporated with Essations and Naked by Essations products. And today we're going to do an instructional video on how to do Naked by Essations Assuage Keratin School Complex. So with this video, you're going to understand how to do the application from start to finish, how to use the product from beginning to end so you can get the results that you're looking for out of the system. Today we have our model Ashley, and as you can see, she's 100% natural. So the first step in the process is to make sure that you do a full consultation with your client and so that your client knows what to expect from the service, and then you also can figure out what to do for your client to get them exactly what they want. So Ms. Ashley, tell me something about your lifestyle. Are you exercising a lot? Do you sweat a lot? Yes, I do work out approximately five days a week. And during those workouts, I tend to sweat a lot. So I'm looking for a hairstyle that can manage through that active lifestyle. Okay. So when you're wearing your hair, do you normally wear your hair in its curly state or do you like to wear it more smoothed out? I do typically wear it in the natural state. Um, I like to um, not put a lot of things in heat to my hair. Okay. So in doing this process, the keratin system can take some of your curl pattern away, a percentage of it. As a stylist, I can manipulate the process to take as much or as little as I want out. But I'm guessing that in your situation, you want to keep as much curl pattern as you can? Yes, absolutely. Okay. All right, so with you, we're not going to manipulate it so much that we're pulling a lot of curl pattern out. But we are going to keep it so that it does make your hair stronger, it's going to make it silkier, and it's also going to be protected from reversion. So when you're doing your sweating or when you're going outside and you party, go to a party or something, you're sweating a lot, your hair is not going to swell up. And that's even if it's in its curly state or if it's smoothed out. How's that sound to you? Okay, so in talking to you, I know what to do. And we can go on and do the Assuage Smoothing System so it can help you with your daily active lifestyle. To properly perform the Naked Assuage Thermal Smoothing Complex System, you will need a few things. First of all is your product. In the product line, you will need to have your Naked Detox Clarifying Shampoo, also your Keratin Plus Reconstructive Mask, your Assuage, which is your Active, the Biofuse Refreshing Shampoo, the Honey and Almond Moisture Whip Conditioner, and also the Satin Silkening Glaze. So with this, our step one, which we're going to perform on Ashley now, would be our detox clarifying shampoo. And what that is, is a deep clarifying shampoo that's going to make sure that you start from a clean head of hair. So it's going to take anything off of the hair that's unwanted and make sure that we're going to be able to start off with clean. The next product we're going to use after that is your Keratin Plus Reconstructive Mask. This mask will go on following two lathers of the detox shampoo. We're gonna come in with the Keratin Plus Reconstructive Mask and use it as a deep conditioner under the dryer for about 10 to 15 minutes. So we're back with my model Ashley, who has been shampooed twice with the Detox Clarifying Shampoo. And I've since then detangled her hair with my wide tooth comb, and then come in and, and then come back and section her hair into four standard sections. And I already have it here. We're using that just for control. So our next step is to apply the Keratin Plus Reconstructive Mask. Now I wanna do that in using a applicator bowl and brush. We do that for two reasons. The first reason is the product, once you're applying it with your hands, it becomes slippery, and it's kind of hard to keep squeezing out of the container with the slippery hands. The second reason we do it is we want to make sure that every strand of hair gets coated with the product before putting it under the dryer with the plastic cap. So we will go ahead and apply it onto the hair at this time. So in completing the process with the Keratin Reconstructive Mask, I'm going to go in and do the same thing again pulling down about an inch section and taking my applicator brush and applying it more to the root of the hair, making sure to cover everything. Applying a little bit more along the shaft and then coming in with my fingers to make sure that all the hair has been saturated with the product. You're gonna keep doing this around every section in the hair until all four sections are complete 
and the entire head of hair has been completely saturated with the keratin reconstructive mask. Once that is done, we're gonna put a cap on her, a plastic cap, and put her under a warm dryer for about 10 to 15 minutes. We follow in with our assuaged thermal complex system. That will sit on the hair for about 10 minutes before we'll begin to go in with our blow dry and flat ironing process, which will help to cure the product on the hair. Ashley has been rinsed from the keratin reconstructive mask after sitting under the dryer for 10 minutes with her plastic cap on. I'll come back and use the big wide tooth comb again to detangle her hair and then part it in my four standard sections once again. This is for control purposes. Sometimes you may want to take some different types of parting, but you'll get to understand that as you go along with doing the process even more. Now that I've parted her into her sections, I want to make sure that I grab the active, which is our assuage thermal smoothing complex. I'm also going to get my gloves, as we talked about before, and the small tooth comb. We're going to use that as well in our application. So I'm putting on these gloves just to make sure that if I have any scratches or any abrasions on my hand, I'm not affected by the assuage, which the assuage has a very, very, very low pH in the one point range. So sometimes it'll make those things kind of tingle on your hand if you have, um, get something on. So I'm applying the foam, since Ashley has about medium density and she also has medium texture in her hair, I'm going to make sure to take about a half inch parting in order to make sure I have enough product to saturate the entire subsection of hair. Now you want to make sure not to get the product all the way up to the scalp. So we're going to slide about an inch down, do one poof of product, and use our comb to move the product all over the strand of hair, making sure that all of the hair has been saturated with the Assuage Thermal Smoothing Complex. So there's our one poof, and we'll take the comb and move it up all the way up to the base, taking care not to get it on the scalp at all possible. We also want to flip the hair up on the underside and make sure that you're getting product saturated on that as well. Then we'll go in and do the same step all the way through the section and move on to the next section. Again, we're taking a parting of about a half an inch Come in with the Assuage Thermal Smoothing Complex, about a half an inch or an inch away from the hair, and then use your small tooth comb to move the product wherever you need it to go. Now let's imagine if the hair was slightly longer than what Ashley's in. Then all you would do is take another poof and take it down, further down the hair strand, and then use that product and manipulate the hair with your comb once again. You're going to keep doing the same thing all the way up the section until you have completely saturated all of the hair. Once again, I'm taking a poof and manipulating the product the way I want to, combing it all the way down onto the ends of the hair. This is very important to not oversaturate the hair because if you use too much product, then at the end you will have to go back and shampoo some of the excess off of the hair. And another reason you don't want to overuse the product is you don't want to waste product where you could use a small amount from the beginning, get all of the benefits that you want without having to go through extra steps at the end. It's very important to make sure that the hairline is done as well because your clients are gonna wanna make sure that their hairline stays smooth instead of reverting back out whenever they go in and sweat or have any kind of activity in their life. Once you have completed this step on the entire head of hair, you want to let the assuage sit 
for 10 minutes before you begin your blow drying and flat ironing process. So now the assuaged thermal smoothing complex has been sitting on Ashley's hair for 10 minutes. So it's time to go in and start curing the product to the hair with the blow dry and flat iron switch. So I want to begin the blow drying process in the first section that I initially applied the assuage in, which would be my back right quadrant. And going through, I'm going to take subsections throughout the section of about an inch thick so that I can go in and blow dry each subsection completely. For each section or each quadrant that we have here, there'll probably be about three different subsections in the inside. I'm going to be using my, my brush, my Demon brush, and also my Ionic blow dryer to be able to blow dry her hair smooth and as dry as possible. Okay, so I am going to go in and take another subsection here, like I said, about a half an inch parting for her hair type and density, and pull it down, and I'm going to keep repeating the same thing, and go in with my small tooth comb, and also with my flat iron. Once again, I'm doing three passes at her base, and then I'm going to take three passes along the length of the hair, ensuring that the hair is smooth all the way down through the end. You'll continue the same process along all of the hair until the hair is nice and smooth and has been flat ironed completely. People also ask what you would do if the hair has already been processed with the keratin previously and the ends of the hair from the mid-shaft to ends has not all the way went back to its natural curl pattern. What you would do in that case is take more passes closer to the base where the hair has grown out and you have more new growth, and then less passes along the interior of the hair down into the end. So what I would suggest is maybe going three passes at your base and all the way to two passes down the length of the hair. That's just an example. So if you're using more passes, if you're using four passes or five passes, you can do as many as the base as you need and then do fewer along the lengths of the hair so you can make sure to get even distribution along the whole hair section or the hair shaft instead of having unevenness throughout the hair. Now when you get to bigger sections like this, all you wanna do is break it in half and take one subsection here and come back and do the next subsection in the second layer. Still making sure to marry the comb up to the flat iron just so that you can get that even distribution and make sure there are no tangles all the way down the length of the hair. Another question people tend to ask all the time is, what if someone is converting or going from transitioning out of their relaxer and going natural? This is a perfect product for that because it gives more flexibility with the hair and allows you to wear the hair smoother while you're transitioning. In that case, I would make sure that when I apply the product to the hair, I would get more product on the hair that is completely natural and a little less product along the hair shaft where it has been previously relaxed. This will stop you from getting that residue or buildup on the mid shaft to ends of the hair. I just completed flat ironing Ashley's hair, which was the second to last step in going in and doing the keratin thermal smoothing system. I went in with my flat iron and did three passes all the way around her head, except for in the top here where I did two passes at 410 degrees so that I could cure the product on the hair to make sure that the hair was silky, the hair is smooth, and it has the protection from the humidity. So if you see her hair, I do not have any product left on it. It feels nice and free flowing. You can comb straight through it. 
and I haven't put anything on it yet. As you can see, Ashley does not have any buildup left on her hair, no product left on her hair, and the shine is amazing. What I'm going to do now is take my satin silkening glaze, pour a couple of drops onto my hands, emulsify it, and rub it through her hair so I can go in and do my final style. Now if you did have some residue left on the hair or it felt tacky still, at this point all you would have to do is go take her to the bowl, shampoo twice with the Biofuse shampoo, and then run the moisture whip conditioner through it and it will alleviate any tackiness or ashiness that's left on the hair. But right now she doesn't need that. So I'm going to go ahead and part her off and go ahead and curl her for her final step. Now Ashley has com been completed with her Naked Assuage Thermal Smoothing Complex. And as you can see, her hair is smooth, it's shiny, she has no reversion in her hair. You can get basically any style that you want to out of it. You can do tighter curls, you can rod it, whichever you want to do. I've added a couple optional um, styling items from our Naked and Eustachians lines, using a little bit of Naked Laid on the edges to control and smooth her edges down. Also a little bit of soft hold spritz to give her a little bit of a manageable curl. And then also I used a little high intensity finishing gloss. And this is our final product on Ashley. The Naked Assuage Thermal Smoothing Compact.